So today I'm working on uh, assembling a 2JZ. Um, this engine is going to be the one that goes in DC1, which is, um, I call it my pro car, the car that I used for Formula D. Had it for years. Um, it's this car. So I've had this engine for a while, ready to be assembled. Um, the issue that's been keeping me from doing work on it or moving forward, let's see if I can show you here. The piston height, these are 11 to 1 pistons, and if you see, they stick above the deck surface of the block. Yeah, you can see that. So, um, I have concerns of whether the pistons are going to clear the valves on a VVTI cylinder head. Um, I'm pretty sure it won't be an issue, but it's still concerning. So, what I'm going to do is throw a head gasket on um, without copper spray. Normally I copper spray gaskets, right Travis? The copper is the jam. So I'm gonna put a dry gasket on. Um, I'm not gonna completely torque it down. I'll probably put it down like 30 foot pounds or something, just enough to squish the gasket a little bit. Ah, oh, that means I have to do timing. No, because you're just worried about it hitting the head, right? Yeah, I guess that, that's my concern. It's not, it's not, I'm not concerned about hitting the valves because obviously they've got valve reliefs, right? My concern is whether the crown of the piston is going to hit the combustion chamber. Um, I set a cylinder head on with no gasket and it did hit. So I know that it's close, so I'm going to test it out with, uh, with a gasket. Uh, uh, there's the cylinder head. These are the gaskets that we use. They've been pretty reliable. Um, I always copper spray head gaskets, um, typically just to fill in any imperfections. Even though this block has been decked and that cylinder head has been decked, I shouldn't need copper spray, but I'm still going to use copper spray. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of good luck that goes along with using it. Okay, so first things first, um, I'm going to set the gasket. As you can see, I've already put the, the dowel pins in. Adjust it here. Um, obviously, those had to be taken out to do the machining of the block. Okay, now these gaskets can be mixed up pretty easily. If you see, if we put it on this way, those holes all appear to line up, except for that one. See that? That one doesn't line up, and that is the main important hole that I use for uh, alignment. That is the oil feed to the head, which on the block is right there. And if you flip it around, there's not one right there. So that means this hole has to align with the oil feed right there. So that tells me that head gasket alignment is going to be like that. It is very easy and very possible to put the head gasket on upside down or backwards and it will definitely fit and line up but your oil hole will be wrong and of course as you saw this hole in this position does not work. Okay that's all lined up. Time to set the head. Hey Trav! Will you help me set the head? Yeah. <clears throat> this uh, feels like a familiar feeling, setting a head with you, Travis. Like maybe we've done it a time or two before. That's all I'm good for. <laughs> Watch the weight of this just go bloop <laughs> and flop the thing off. Is it on? Yeah. Uh, you're a little... I think it fell down. Oh no, that's just the gas heater right there. I think you're on. I'm really nervous it's going to fall. It's not. So I've got this set of uh, used head studs. I'm missing one. Oh, you don't need all one single stud. So what I'm going to do for this is just uh, put probably four of them in there. Maybe six. Well, this is just the this is just a test to check for piston height because you know I got to take it off again and spray it. I can't in good conscience. Uh, Put a 2J head on without spraying it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I need the Allen key. I'm just trying to get it so the head won't fall off. You think if I do two middles and all the outsides, I think that'll be enough to measure it? 
gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, we got one there. That's how that's done. <laughs> Why? Eh. Uh, did I tell you about that one time that, uh, never mind, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably good. Not on candy camera. Uh, see that hole? Mm hmm Right there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, did you, did you drop something in there? A magnet. A magnet? Oh, you're screwed. A pencil magnet? It's stuck to the oil pan. <laughs> what? Did it's you run it? No, it's still in that engine. <laughs> we did not get it out. Well, I mean, it's a magnet. It's not going anywhere. Right? That's what I thought. <laughs> Just double stack gaskets. <laughs> That's so BMW Euro style. Do they do that? Yeah. Does it work? I don't know. <laughs> You've seen some of the stuff European guys do. It's crazy. It's not good. Well, I was talking to someone the other day about, like, uh, transmission adapters. Mm. The Euro guys will just straight cut the bell housing off of, like, a ZF, and then, like, take a 2J bell housing, just put them together, line it up to the input shaft, and weld it together. Like, <laughs> That's how you go full damn <laughs> I mean, I could run this without spraying it, but just, I don't like it. I've never done it without spraying it. I'm too scared to try. I did one on a Honda that I didn't spray, and it leaked. It really? Was cooling out the front of the head. I had to go through and retorque the head studs, and then it stopped leaking. <laughs> I was pretty bummed out about that. <laughs> For real. It's definitely not something you want to have happen. It's an LSV tech, bro. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pull that number one cap? Nah, I'll just put one right there. And call it good. Just for measurement's sake, like. I'll stick with the theme. <laughs> Looking for what? Thirty foot pounds, right there. <laughs> Fulgerson came and helped me move my coilovers, <laughs> and he uh, went to tighten my lug nuts, and I was just a kid. I was like, are you going to torque those? And he's like, they're torqued. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, man. <laughs> That's probably about the same time that he was working at discount. <laughs> that was ratchet. We all found the limit. 30 foot pounds is too much. Hmm. We got, <laughs> for real, we got 400 ratchets in the shop, and I think 200 of them are broken. <laughs> the best is when they're only half broken, so you get that like that false hope. Like, oh yeah, this is going. That's how my Craftsman torque wrench is. <laughs> it's the old. Oh, good old Craftsman. That's got me through many head jobs. Oh look at where we're, we're, the pieces are missing. Things falling apart. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Oh, well, that's why. Yeah. Well, now my torque torque readings are off. <laughs> for sure. I'm going to break that ratchet next because that's a cheap ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, remember that one time I was filming and I melted Quinn's ECU? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't necessarily think a lot when I'm... <laughs> Dude, you too. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. <laughs> yeah, I think we're up to 45 now. That's good for it. It's okay. Very low chance it hits. <laughs> <laughs>
Feel the air. Does it feel like 11 to 1? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Dang. You're gonna blow the gasket with all that pressure. For real, you only torqued it to 30? And no copper. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Dang, you're actually holding me from spinning the crank when you put your finger there. Really? Yeah. I mean. Well, I know a valve would be a lot stronger than my <laughs> fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, here you go. I mean, here's the thing I'm gonna run it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why do you need that check? Uh. So Scott was telling me once on his V8, they put a combo of like different uh, V8 stuff, you know, different pistons with different heads. And the engine was making a knocking sound the whole time, and it turned out to be the pistons were hitting the head. But they ran it. There were marks on the cylinder, or on the piston and on the combustion chamber, but nothing failed. So, but what happened is it would knock when it got hot because the pistons would grow, right? So that's what I'm worried about. Like, oh, it's not hitting now. I guess that's the idea of claying it, right? You put clay in there. You crank it over till it squishes the clay, and then you measure the depth of the clay. Yeah, I'm. I don't want to do that. I mean, let's be real. If you measure it and it doesn't come out good, you're still playing. <laughs> so, like, it was like I don't want to run a thick head gasket because I bought 11 to 1 pistons, so I'm not trying to lower the compression after getting high compression. So. Well, why do you think it would hit if you bought them for a Jay Z? Because they the the CP engineers custom built them, so it's not really their responsibility. To verify, you know, they just take their their stock measurement and add that. It's the engine builder's responsibility to actually measure all that stuff, but it should, right? Theoretically, it should. Mm -hmm. They they take their ten to one, which is already a flat top, and they just. Oh yeah, you're good, man. I, yeah, I think, okay. I think so. So we we spun it over. Um, pretty sure it's not hitting. I don't think so. Doesn't sound like it's hitting. There's still that idea that the pistons could grow a little bit under heat and maybe touch, but that's a that's a risk I'm willing to take. Um, I'm really not going to go much further on today, i got a lot of other work to do, but I just wanted to make this short video of putting this together and checking it out because eventually we are going to get to putting that car together, DC1, and uh, this engine is going to be in that thing, and uh, it's going to be sick. Uh, it's going to be more powerful than it ever was when I had it in Formula Drift. I've got a GTW38 something 80 I don't know some big turbo it's supposed to be good for 900 horsepower so we'll see how that works out but 11 to 1 pistons big turbo no rod knock no piston to head contact copper sprayed head gasket big power numbers so we're going to cover this thing up try and avoid getting any dirt and dust literally this head's been sitting on a bench for as long as I can remember like a year two years three years I don't know and it was just covered in dust so now that I got it out and got it cleaned up a little bit I want to put it in a safe place, which is with this block that's been assembled, and now they're both together, covered, and uh, tucked nicely away for another couple couple years until we get around to putting it together for that. But uh, yeah, this is just a short video of the day. So as always, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow uh, D Spare Garage and what we're doing here. Thank you. Out. say stupid stuff and be so much easier to edit, you know. I'm never gonna get more than 120 <laughs> subscribers.